Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the fascinating issue of Goodwill scams. Now, Goodwill occasionally has, quote, donations of magic cards. However, I believe the majority of the time they are scams. And here we have a very interesting collection. It is, it says 25 plus pounds of Magic the Gathering trading cards bulk lot. Now, the bid was $50,000. The winning bid was $50,000. What is in this collection that makes it so someone will bid $50,000? Now, let's suspend our disbelief and assume that it is not a young child bidding randomly on his parents' credit card, but this is an actual bid. Well, you have the typical scam uh, repack. Craigslist, you name it, this is your typical scam, scam of, oh, we received XXYZ merchandise. We don't know anything about this game. We don't have the internet. Yet we're using the internet to post this interesting lot by pound. And we hope that we're not going to get ripped off too badly because it is an auction. 90 people or 98 uh, people bid. And the handling price is $3 for such a valuable collection. We see this on Goodwill all the time when they get a valuable collection. Now, I will show you the collection in its entirety as shown by Goodwill. And I'll point out at certain things that don't make too much sense about the collection. So here we have a Vault, which is the multicolored card. Vault is worth a few dollars. We have Cologne. Uh, the previous slide, we had Plateau. We had a single Plateau, I believe, from Revised. And we have a lot of uh, Homelands. We have a lot of Revised, which makes sense if there are dual lands. And this would be kind of the set that you would see. Um, it's not atypical. You have two clones. I mean, I remember playing and there was clones everywhere. But what is atypical is how the cards are organized. And the fact that the good cards are shown and there cannot be that many more good cards. So it's not like there are 10 underground seas here and we show just one of them. I assume there's one underground sea and we're going to show one of them. Now from the first initial pictures, you look at it and it doesn't seem like too, it doesn't seem like too bad, right? I mean, it's an interesting collection. You have high tides, you have legends card, you have moss monster on top you have gaseous something on the middle so you, you're, you're talking about legends and legends even the commons are worth a lot of money imagine some of the better rares uh tabernacle for instance would be very valuable but is it fifty thousand dollars of value i don't think so even if you saw powered nine it would be difficult for you to assign fifty thousand dollars of value that aside this is a very typical scam used by YouTubers to promote repacks or to promote, oh, I bought this thing, I bought this collection at a flea market and clearly the vendor isn't on his phone the whole time because he's bored and, and checking up the price of these things he has and he sold me a whole playset of Zendikar Fetchlands for 80 bucks. So I saw a video on YouTube like that, and I was like, mm, that's not how flea markets work. At least the flea markets I go to, the vendors are like, you know, outside of them, you handing them money, there's, their eyes are on the phone, and they are either eBaying on the phone while they sell their stuff, or just learning more about what they're trying to sell. Here in green, we have um, Autumn Willow, which is from Homelands, one of my favorite cards, Hungry Mist. So Hurricane on top, not uh, Wonderlust, not anything that is like too amazing. We have a few giant growths. We have a giant growth from Ice Age, uh, one from, it looks like Revised, a Force of Nature from Revised. So here, I mean, it doesn't look too suspect. Um, and even, even now we have Chronicles, right? Chronicles make sense. I mean, Chronicles was during this time period. I believe we have Antiquities down there with the other force of nature. And more legends, the land leech are land leech probably from the dark. So 
this is, I mean, it sounds like a bulk lot. Uh, I, I assume that Goodwill doesn't know what they actually have. Otherwise, they would have uh, increased the price, for the starting price. And it's unfortunate. Uh, old school magic is really in style. I have a lot of uh, people who want to buy exactly this. They want to buy this crap stuff. And they're hoping to hit gold. Well, the problem for me is I can't sell the crap stuff to you because I know it's crap. And I'm not going to put dual lands in it to make it less crappy because that would be very foolish of me. I mean, we have more Ice Age. We have some of the dark. This is uh, Elvis Archer's uh, a revised carpet. The Arabian Nights carpet is worth a ton right now. So I kind of, I mean, this auction just ended. So I kind of can understand why someone would want, would want this stuff. Oh, of course, my favorite uh, card from Homelands, Dingaroo. But at the same time, 50,000 is way too much. I mean, 5,000 is way too much. And this is a very, very, it's something that I don't like to see. I'm on YouTube, when this ha when I see something like this, and it's unrealistic for this YouTuber to get this type of deal on this type of on these type of cards. I feel like they're doing it for the views, and it's just so it leaves this unrealistic expectation that you can buy a mystery box, not know very much. You have fork right there, right? Uh, fork is pretty good. You can buy a mystery box and not know what's in it, and still try to make money from it. Um, here, I mean, we have some of these older deck boxes. These are the deck boxes we played with. You can see that if you put a sleeve on it, they wouldn't fit. Uh, yeah, that reminds me of the deck boxes I used to have. You have some Ice Age pamphlets and some revised land. You, you know it's revised because it's so uh, faded. It looks very faded. You have a Shatterstorm. I mean, these are cards that I grew up playing with, but... Now I'll show you the, so I showed you a collection. Now I'll show you the scam part of the collection. All right, we're looking at slightly better cards now. And we have a pirate ship. We have Heart of Yagamara. And we have a tropical island just kind of lying on top as if, you know, there's a hundred tropical islands beneath it, right? So there we go. We had a plateau and we have a tropical island. We have another Elvis uh, Spirit Guide which is the second one we saw. And what are the chances that this randomly collection would have one tropical island on top? So let me explain something to you when I used to play. People who knew the lands were good, they always had four of them. People who didn't know they were good, they would always trade them into Syrian dragons. Now, interestingly enough, the concept of showing one tropical is the allure that there are more tropicals. Here we have Scrubland Plateaued, our second plateau, by the way. Uh, tundra, Underground Sea, and Bayou, all right next to each other. We have a Soul Ring. We got some older cards. We have that card from Antiquity, is the uh, Cauldron. We have Phyrexian Devourer, which is on a reserve list from Alliance. That card is worth some money. So here we see some money cards and the money cards are quite interesting because they really are worth quite a bit of money. Why are we showing the money cards and how, what are the chances that if you put random piles, the top showing of every pile would be five dual lands. Like how many dual lands would have to be? Let's say that half that pile of a hundred cards, or here's a plateau is a dual land. So let's say there's 100 cards and 50 of them are dual lands. Well, we, to get five in a row in that order, we would have to still be very lucky, and that assumed we had 250 dual lands, which must be true, right? So essentially what I'm here to tell you is if Goodwill is Goodwill, which is a donation and charity, if you don't know what that is, it's all about donations. If they're willing to try to scam you, you know, if a charity is willing to try and scam you and get you to pay more for this collection than collection is worth, 
Otherwise, maybe you're donating, you just don't care about money and you just want to donate it to them anyway, and this is kind of a nice way to donate it. Um, if Goodwill is willing to scam you, you can be sure that Craigslist is willing to scam you. You can be sure that your local flea market will try to scam you. And this whole concept of, I don't know what's in the collection, it could be anything, um, I just don't know. My goodness, you would have to be a fool. There's a Phyrexian portal, which is worth a bunch. We got uh, the Hippo, the Group Hug Hippo, which is worth, it's also on the reserve list. It's a great EDH card. Death Cone, I think, is worth some money, right? It's zero costing, if I'm correct on that one. Oh, we have Rainbow Veil from uh, Fallen Empires, also on the reserve list, also worth quite a bit of money. Really good in EDH. There's some great cards in this collection. And for, uh, like, I mean, yeah, you have the dual land, so you can calculate the dual lands, whatever they are going for, assuming that they're, like, moderately played condition. But I don't think Goodwill has any concept of what they currently have. And the person trying to scam would be the person who set this collection up this way. It is just very unlikely that you have five dual lands, all of them being very, being different, so close to each other, if you just have a random pile of lands. Now, they could be, and they don't seem to be sorted by set. You have Jester's Cap. That card used to be really valuable during Ice Age. And you have some really good cards. And if you wanted to get an old school, this would be a really great collection to buy for maybe uh, underground, maybe $2,000. But then you would have to hit on some other cards that you're not seeing right now. I'm assuming there is some other stuff. But I'll leave it this way. If Goodwill, a charity, is willing to try to scam you, then then who's not trying to scam you? <laughs> anyway, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this collection. I really enjoyed looking. This is my ideal collection. Uh, not my ideal price, but definitely a perfect collection for someone who has played Magic for a long time. It's got a little bit of everything that you really want to see. Anyway, bye guys.